I am here at Cedar Ridge because today we're gonna learn about grapes. Like tomatoes or pumpkins, grapes grow on long spindly vines. I was inspired to do the grapevine in front of some grapevines. This is how vines grow when they're left to their own devices in the wild. And that's why farmers will put up trellises like this to give them some more support. These vines are 15 years old. That's older than most of you and your siblings too. The light brown vines are the part of the plant that grew this year. That means this vine I'm tracing grew 10 feet in just a few months. It connects back to the thick dark brown or older part of the plant. Grape plants pollinate in a relatively uncommon way. So there aren't any flowers on these vines right now, but when they do flower, they don't need bees to pollinate. They self-pollinate by throwing their pollen to the wind and hoping it sticks. What about the fruit that then grows? This type of grape starts growing in May. At first, it is green and very sour, but then it ripens by July and turns purple, sweet, and ready to eat. Seedless grapes are used mostly for eating. These grapes have seeds in them, so they're used to make other things. Can you see any of the seeds? Let's see how they taste. Ugh, I got a sour one. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new about grapes today.